So I've been in pain most of my life. I wanted to make a video about that, not because of poor me, woo woo, or anything like that. I wanted to make a video about that just to kind of help others in some of the things that I've found to kind of mitigate some of the pain. Now it hasn't taken it away completely and as this video goes on you'll see me kind of swaying here and to and fro in the the seat here you know so I haven't gotten rid of it completely but some of the things that if I had known about back in you know when I was growing up or things that actually existed like some of the stuff I know about didn't really exist back in the day that you know it is what it is but if that was around if that was an option back in the day would I have so much pain I don't know so one of the things that I wanted to talk about is these shoes right here these shoes are our zero shoes now there's many different var variations of them this just happens to be uh, the brand that I like they're barefoot shoes they have no stack height whatsoever and I'll talk about that in a little while and it's just a five millimeter you know piece of rubber underneath your 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 foot there's an insole in here that you can take out if you want to feel even closer to the ground now I will include a an affiliate link to a couple of the things that I'm going to talk about in here this really isn't about selling things this is really about what I have found to help me as much as I possibly can now my story is I always had an ankle that dislocated every time I took a step. I acted like a pendulum and it eventually ate away 33% of my ankle bone, which is also known as the talus. When you're compensating for that, your body's going to be off. And a lot of us don't have that situation like that I have, but you do have a situation where you're in shoes that elevate your foot and your foot is not supposed to be elevated. The reason for that is because your body always wants to keep your eye on the horizon. If your body it doesn't sense the horizon and doesn't have a horizontal line, you can't walk properly. So what it does is it moves the ankle forward, the knee forward, the hip forward, and all of a sudden, before you know it, everything in your body is completely out of place and you were not walking the way you're meant to walk. And that throws everything off. Like the like if it's a couple millimeters off down at the base, it's gonna be inches off by the time you get to the top. And then you got people doing like these weird things with their back they got the hunchback they got you know the head forward they got the neck issues I mean I've got all of these things right so and I have them largely because of the ankle issues that I've had but the, uh, and and also part because I was always searching for a new pair of shoes that was comfortable I had always heard about people having you know foot pain or whatever it is after work so I just thought it was normal, you know, and you hear a lot of people talking about foot pain and pain and back pain, but it's not, it's, we're not supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to have completely swollen foot feet by the time you get home from work. It's not supposed to be like that, but it is. And why is that? It's because we're strapping our feet into these casts, right? It's kind of like if you wanted to get your, your bicep bigger and stronger, you wouldn't put it in a cast and assume that it's going to get stronger. It's going to atrophy. But this is kind of what we do with our feet right now this is not a, a foot ad or anything I'm gonna get into some other stuff that I've you know used to help myself including a, a bed that I have recently gotten last week that I'm eventually gonna be doing a video about there's many different things that we can do and a lot of what we've been told over the years to help ourselves with this really doesn't help at all and, and people want cushy and in you know soft and whatever things to sit on and lay on but it's really not how we're built if you really look at how we're built we're supposed to lay on and sit on hard things because we have these lymphatic nodes you know like a lot of people know about the ones in the neck you know if you're not feeling well the ones in your neck will swell up but you have those all over the body or like the, the other famous ones are the ones underneath the armpit in, in the armpit because they will smell really bad and this is why people buy, buy deodorant but one of the things that you can do is you can lay on the ground like a lot of people I know after they get if they have a very physical job they like to lay on the ground right after they get home from work why is that it's because the body feels better in that position on a harder surface it's not if you're on a bed you're you're going to be kind of 
you know, caving down the bed, no matter how much you weigh, no matter how heavy the springs are, you're going to be weighing down in the bed. And that puts your body in a position that it's just not supposed to be in. And because of that, you have a lot less lymphatic drainage, if any. And because you have none, none of this lymphatic drainage, you also have a lot of by, waste byproduct that just isn't getting expelled in the body like it's naturally supposed to. Like you, we used to squat. We didn't have, like I'm sitting on a, a chair right now. We didn't have chairs. We squatted. You know, and that, that clears a lot of the channels out. They there's a lot of stuff in the legs that get cleared out and there's a lot of stuff in the back that gets cleared out. When you're sitting on a chair, that doesn't happen. Even, even if you're riding a bike, right, you might have some of that lymphatic drainage in your legs, but a lot of people, especially when they're new to cycling, will notice that they get bloated, they have uh, gastrointestinal intestinal problems, they have a lot of issues in the upper body. It's just because your upper body is sedent you know, sedentary, basically, on the bike, and you're on the hoods or whatever you know kind of handlebars that you've got and you're in a stationary position and it just builds things up that's why when people just all of a sudden will start a program for 10,000 steps a day or whatever or 20,000 steps a day whatever it may be all of a sudden you you have this huge clearing of lymphatic because our lymphatic system does not have a pump like the heart you know, the blood system has the pump, the heart as a pump, but the lymphatic system does not have that, even though it runs along the same lines as the as the veins and the nerves do, it just doesn't have a pump because we used to walk a lot more. So you have a couple of things going on here. And if you look at people who uh, can't afford shoes, don't really like shoes or whatever, their feet are completely different. Like I've always hated shoes my entire life. So you'll see my feet are completely different than somebody who's been in shoes their whole life. They're wider, they, they have uh, space in between the toes. There's a lot more space. Like I used to work in a post office and we had a lot of people from India and Africa who uh, you know moved to this country and they couldn't afford shoes in the country that they were from. And when they moved here, they couldn't actually find shoes to fit their feet because their feet were so big and, and heavy and, and healthy that they had to, even in the winter, wear those, you know, the sandals that people usually wear after practice or something like that because that's all they could get on their feet. That's how our feet are supposed to look. But when you start off at an early age being put in shoes, which we're not really supposed to be put in, your whole body is gonna be off your entire life. So if you're always in pain, that's one of the number one reasons that, that this happens is because you're in shoes that are elevated and you're not supposed to be elevated like that. You're just not supposed, it's just not supposed to be the way it is. What can you do about it? So one of the things that I've done about it, now I did have to have the surgery, I had my ankle replaced, I had 33% of the bone missing like I said, and I've always had a high pain tolerance, which isn't always the best thing because then you don't realize how much more damage you're actually doing to your body. So it's not the greatest thing. And even the doctor after he uh, did the ankle surgery for me, he's like, you know, most people that I've, and he's been a foot doctor forever. He's like, I've had patients who had 1% of their bone missing and they couldn't even walk. He's like, I don't know how you were doing this on 33% of your bone missing. It's just, I'm like, I don't know. I've, I've always known that pain, you know? So it's just always been there. Had I had something like this, I probably would not have had as much issue. I may not even needed the surgery because the body would have worked in much more unison than it did. A lot of people you see, they kind of walk like the penguin, you know, like it's just, we're not, that's not how we're supposed to walk. We're supposed to have a movement to us. Our spine is supposed to be over each leg as it walks. We're not supposed to be so rigid. And one of the other things that comes from these Hoka style things is your foot wants to feel the ground. And if it can't feel the ground, then it's going to walk harder and harder and harder until it can actually feel the ground. And if it can't, your body just doesn't walk correctly. I'm getting yelled at. I don't know if you heard that. I'm getting yelled at by a device. Your, your, your body just doesn't walk correctly. Have you ever seen people with huge calves and no ass? It's just because you didn't wa you don't walk correctly. How do I know this? Is because I deal with some of this stuff my entire life. It's just now as I'm getting into uh, was getting into my late 30s and and early 40s here that I've I've really realized oh this is why that's happening, and so I'm making videos like this because there's a lot of things that you can do to mitigate or get rid of pain, especially if you can catch it at an early age. If you're watching this at an early age, do some of this stuff. The other thing that I've been doing is I bought a mattress, it's three inches, 
uh, thick, and it's got uh, t uh, just a mat of grass underneath. It's basically a Japanese bed. It's a tatami mat, and then on top of it, a, a small little mattress. And I, it, it's so amazing. Like you might be slightly stiff when you wake up in the morning, but you realize after a couple of minutes that you are so much better off with this style st style mattress instead of being in this over cushionized mattress that's not good for anybody really we're not supposed to be in this cushy world it's just not what we're meant to do like it's not meant for us we are our built our bodies are built to be in kind of a rugged terrain and it, it the reason for that is because again like i said our lymphatic system does not have drainage and because it does not or a pump for drainage so if it doesn't have a pump you have to be the pump and so sleeping on a hard surface walking a lot walking correctly these are things that that really drain the lymphatic the lymphatic system and another thing that i've also done is use a seller sizer to a mini rebounder that is one of the things i will link uh, an affiliate uh, it make a little bit of money that th is amazing I've talked about it in probably about five of my videos, or like I reviewed it in five, five different of my videos. It has been an absolute life changer. It really has, it's, it's amazing. I know they're a little bit expensive now, they're like three or $400 more now than, than what I bought it. But I would still, even at the current rate, still buy it because it drains the lymphatic system. And like Dave Hall, the creator of the thing says, you can, you know, like 10 minutes a day is all you really need. And truly 10 minutes a day is something that will completely set your life in a different trajectory uh, health wise than it's in right now now I'm not saying it's gonna cure everything and I'm not saying anything like that I'm not a doctor or anything but the, the transformation that I've seen and I used it when I was in the upper 300 pounds right I know it's only rated for 300 pounds but I use the thing I've had it for 10 years now when I was over you know almost 400 pounds so I've had it for a while and I've used it in this journey that I've been on from over 400 pounds to whatever I'm at now, I, I'm gonna do a wait in a couple weeks. To summarize, if you're in pain, really start off with the base, right? Like your feet, I would start off there. Now I would not go full force, I mean, I did, but I know a lot of people are going to have issue with that. It's not going to work out well for you. You know, it's just like anything else. If you buy barefoot shoes, use them for like an hour a day and then maybe the next week, two hours a day or whatever, and just gradually build into it. Your calves are going to be annihilated the first, like, I don't know, a couple weeks, if not a month uh, for most people. Some people, like it didn't happen with me. Maybe not everybody goes through that, but I have heard a lot of people say that their calves were annihilated. <laughs> like just so sore it happens it happens this is gonna happen and same thing actually on the seller size there are a lot of people are like man I can't believe how much you know activation this did for my calves and all you know all the other things I had a Bellicon at one point and I did like it kind of but the mat was too soft I didn't really think it was uh, draining my lymph all that much and then I bought the seller sizer and I couldn't believe it I could only I could like if I could do half an hour on the Bellicon I could only do like two minutes on the seller sizer because the lymphatic drainage I could feel it you know you like you can feel it being pulled it was night and day difference so there's different uses for each different uh, trampoline seller sizers the one I stick with. But overall, living a more original kind of lifestyle has has really helped me. Now, it hasn't completely gotten rid of the pain. It really, not even close. I have a 3D printed talus bone, you know, like I don't even have a bone anymore. So I'm not really the greatest, uh, you know, person to talk about that. But even in my own life, it has changed me drastically. So if somebody who has an ankle that's not even real, uh, a leg length uh, measured at the hospital d discrepancy of 12 to 16 millimeters, a hip that's off, a back that's twisted. Uh, at one point, I had a doctor tell me that my liver and my stomach were out of place and they thought that I had been in some severe accident, which just wasn't the case. So if somebody, even in my case, right, who has all these mechanical craziness going on, can find relief with this stuff, somebody who is just has a little bit of aches and pains, I can't see how it wouldn't just completely eliminate them altogether. So that is my suggestion. Go check out these affiliate links that I have down below. Again, this is not a commercial or you know info, infomercial or whatever i don't really care if you go check them out or not you, you know you can just go there without using the links but 
these are things that I have definitely benefited from and continue to talk about on this channel. And I think some of the stuff is, is more important actually than diet. I, I know it's more important than diet because your mechanical health is, is really important. And I know a lot of people who don't really pay attention to the diet world have fairly good health. And, and it's a lot of it just comes from walking and being active. And a lot of people you know, that I've talked to uh, have tried out many rebounding and stuff like that. And then if they add you know shoes in like this, is, that helps even more so food for thought literally uh, just just check it out you know just think about it you know the bed I will talk about in a couple of weeks I really want to give it a couple of weeks before I talk about it in any way shape or form that is it if you have any questions or comments leave them down below like subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video